begin, I have a riddle for you. Think about it and try to answer. Ready? Here we go. This place is green, has a lot of grass, it has lovely swings and a walking path. You go with your parents and enjoy with friends. There are trees which are tall. You can run and play with the ball. Where am I? Yes, I am talking about a park. Do you enjoy going to a park or a garden? And what activities you do in the park? Do you play or practice yoga? Do you enjoy the swings or do you play with marbles? So just like you, we have some children and some grandparents too who are enjoying these lovely moments. So let's observe the given picture here. Going out with grandfather. In the first picture, we can observe the scene of a park. Few people are sitting on a bench. Hmm. How many people are sitting on the bench? Can we count? Yes, we can. So we have one, two, three, four and five. Five grandparents. And we can also observe that few children are playing on a swing. And we see that there are one, two, three children playing on the swings. Oh, look, somebody is coming. A girl is driving the wheelchair of her grandfather. And what happened next? The girl has joined the children and grandfather has joined the other grandparents. We can see that in the third picture, children have started playing. And in the last picture, look, all the grandparents are playing with the children. They all are having fun. Dear students, I think it's always good to have more friends to enjoy more. And we could see in the picture that after the girl and her grandfather joined, all the four kids and the six grandparents all together seem more happy. Dear learners, after a visit to the park, we now have some tasks for you. We will count the number of objects and tell how many all together. Let's have a look. In the first picture, we have four children and then two more children, which all together makes a big group of children. But how many children are there in the big group? We had four here and then two more. So we have one, two, three, four, five and six children all together. We can also write it as 4 plus 2 is equals to 6. Yes, in the next task, we have some... Can you tell what are these? Something which rotates. Goal, 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 goal. Hmm, we have some tops. So, three tops and one top all together make... How many tops? Just count one ahead of three and we get three and four. So three tops and one top all together make four tops. We can also write it as three plus one is equals to four. Next, we have some pencils and few ants. Find the total and write it in the box. Dear learners, in this task, we had to add and write the total number here. Can we do the same and draw the total things now? So, you need to add and draw now. So, six balls and two balls all together make 
how many balls? Just count two ahead of six. So six here and then seven and eight. So we have eight balls all together. Let's draw eight balls here. We can write it as six plus two is equals to eight. Similarly, you can count the total number of stones here in the next task. The boy is having seven stones. Then he sees another small stone. So how many stone he has all together now? Seven plus one all together makes I am not going to share. Count, find, draw and write here. Friends, we just counted balls and stones. Let's now count people, fingers and numbers also. Part A. How many brothers and sisters do your parents have all together? Hmm. For this, you need to find the number of brothers and sisters your mother has and then the number of brothers and sisters your father has and then add the number or count them all together. For example, if my mother has three brothers and sisters, and my father has four brothers and sisters, then I will count three and four all together. So three and four will make, just count ahead of three, four, five, six and seven. So we have seven as the total number here. Similarly, find out and discuss. You must take help from your parents in knowing how many brothers and sisters they have. Let's move to part B. How many family members do you and your friend have all together? So discuss it with your friend and try to find out. Part C. How many fingers do you have both in your hands and feet. Let me give you a hint. We have 10 fingers in hands and 10 toes in feet. So all together it will be, I hope you are able to guess, add, count and find the answer. Moving to part D now. Part D is also a special question because each one of us can have different answers for it. Here is the question. How many numbers can you count on your fingers? Friends, if we count one finger as one, then we can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten. So we can count 10 numbers like this, but observe your hand. Can you see some lines? And with this, you can count one finger as one, two, three, and then four, five, six, and then seven, eight, nine, and so on. The numbers that you can count on your fingers will be much, much bigger than 10. Dear learners, we have counted objects and people also. It's now time to count the numbers using our fingers. So let's move to the next task and see what is there. In the first part, we need to add 4 and 3. How can we count? Any idea? Yes, we just count all the fingers all together. So here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five, six and seven. Yes, four plus three is equals to seven. Next, we have three plus two. Let's use another method here. Three in this hand, so just count two after that. Three, four and five. So we have three plus two is equals to five. Few questions you must practice on your own and discuss with your friends also. Play, explore and learn with these numbers. We will meet in another session. Till then, keep thinking, keep playing, keep learning and keep enjoying. Bye-bye and Namaskar. <laughs>